In Sporting News Today, Mario Balotelli makes a Why Always Me t-shirt. A police officer puts the London games at risk. A footballer who's better at bowling than at football. Ryan Giggs is a worm and Roger Federer presents his new shoes. Mario Balotelli has a new friend, English rapper Tinchi Strider, who paid tribute to the footballer by writing a song about him. Their meeting didn't take place on stage, but in the design studio of Manchester's Umbro Boutique. The two young men teamed up to create a Why Always Me t-shirt. The sentence has become the Manchester City Strikers' catchphrase. Profits of the sale will go to a charity chosen by the footballer himself. Despite his bad boy attitude, it would seem that Mario Balotelli has a big heart. He's paid for rounds of drinks for strangers in a pub, leased hotel rooms for homeless people, and even funded a school in Sudan. And that's not all. Super Mario also extends this generosity to his friends. He's just bought a Porsche for his girlfriend, Italian model Raffaella Fico, a real token of his love. It's the blunder of the week, perhaps of the year even. A police officer misplaced documents containing the security arrangements of the upcoming London Games. Said officer forgot the documents in a train somewhere in the south of England. The file contained details concerning the security arrangements and listed the times and dates of all the counter-terrorism briefings. Not the most reassuring news with just six months to go before the opening ceremony. From July the 27th to August the 12th, millions of visitors are expected to pour into London. A guff that further feeds into the general feeling of paranoia. Authorities have expressed their embarrassment. Scotland Yard has tried to minimize the importance of the incident, especially since the file in question was found by a commuter who gave the document to British tabloid The Sun. So the police finally got its hands back on the security arrangements. But who had access to the confidential information in the meantime? The Olympic Games will be on red alert day and night. Goal, no wait, strike. He thought he'd find fame on the pitch, but he ended up shining in the alley. At 38, Linvoy Primus is about to hang up his cleats. After playing for Barnet, Reading and Portsmouth, he's currently warming the bench of England League One team Charlton Athletic. So to pass the time, he hangs out at bowling alleys and shows off his incredible talent. Check this out. could have gone about it the other way around and started with bowling, then gone on to kick the ball around on Sundays with his other retired friends. The Giggs brothers are waging a full-out war. On the pitch, 37-year-old Ryan Giggs still has the support of his coach, but he no longer has the respect of his own brother. Rodri Giggs has not recovered from his big brother's betrayal, but Ryan did have an affair with Rodri's wife Natasha for eight years after all. Rodri shared his resentment with the son. My brother's a great footballer, uh, I, I always thought he was a great person, but now I know he's not. He's embarrassment, he's a bottler, he's, uh, he's never apologised, and uh, it's good to know that he's, he's ruined my life for just all the sex. Off camera, Rodri even calls his brother a worm. He isn't so hard on his wife, however. I love Natasha, she's my wife. I want to try and salvage it if, if I can. We've got a good family, good home, and I just think she got manipulated by Ryan at a young age. Roger Federer isn't wishing you a happy new year, but presenting his new pair of Nike sneakers. To meet with success in 2012, the Swiss champion is counting on his Nike Zoom Vapor 9, designed especially for him. The Zoom Vapor 9 are shockproof and provide maximum comfort. Nike's chosen a dubstep tune, a very popular genre right now, to cheer the champion on the court. We should soon find out if Roger Federer has got off to a good start with his new Zoom Vapor 9, even if the name sounds more adapted to a flat iron than to shoes.